Welcome to Dread Halls. This is a virtual reality horror game for the Oculus Rift, and this is going to be my first video for the Rift. Uh, so this headset just arrived, and the number one thing I've been looking forward to on this headset is horror games, because there's a ton of Oculus Rift exclusive horror games that you can't play on the Vive without heavy modding. So this note says, I can't wait for you, not anymore, not here. There's an exit, the stone face told me. I'll be there, I'll wait for you there. Follow my trail, find the eyes, find the exit. Okay. So I'm crapped in this, or <laughs> I'm trapped in this uh, creepy dungeon, and I have to find the exit. Pretty simple. But, like I was saying, I'm really pumped to play some horror games in VR, because I love horror. I love horror movies, and I loved the limited amount of horror games that they had on the Vive. In fact, I just watched a 10 minute virtual reality horror movie to get myself in the right mindset for this. And I guess it worked because I am kind of freaked out. Nothing scary has happened so far. This is just the very beginning. At first I was confused. My head throbbed and I felt nauseous. It took me a long time to unlock my cell's door. What a noob. The other cells were empty, but I heard strange noises coming from the corridor. It sounded like someone whispering? I did hear a strange noise earlier. Oh. Hello, lady. She just seems to be minding her own business, right? Oh, okay. Turned into a black puff of smoke. Classic witch. Should I follow her? Let's follow her. So the items you collect in this game are oil, radio lamp, coins, and lockpicks. And here's an eyeball. Cool. That note uh, that we had earlier said something about collecting the eyes. That's super dark, so I have to turn on my lamp. So you can sprint in this game, but your character does become winded and then will pant audibly for a little bit until you can sprint again. Okay, so... There we go. So you collect the eyeballs, and you put them on these pillars. Now there's a cute purple wisp here, and I'm gonna follow him. I think the note said collect the eyes, find the exit, right? So four pillars, four eyes, and then I'm I'm good. I guess we'll see. One of the unique things about this game is that the dungeons are actually randomly generated, which is cool for a horror game because it means every time you go through, you're not gonna know where the scary stuff is, and there could potentially be creepy jump scares around every corner or in every room or you could just get empty rooms like this that's the beauty of randomly generated dungeons okay Ominous bucket. Okay. I hear creepy stuff. I don't see anything though. <gasps> okay. Creepy shadow man. Got it. He's gone though. Or he's gone now though. 
What does this say? It was easier for me. The others had friends, family. Coming here was a hard choice for them. What about you, dear friend? Did you have someone you left behind? Uh, well, there's the dude who left me the note initially. It's more like he left me behind, I guess. What? Ew. It's just like a stretched out, skinned face. Okay. Some nice art. Whoever runs this place. Oh, there's another one. I didn't even notice this one before. Or maybe it's following me. I don't think so, though. So this map system is kind of cool. It just kind of floats at the bottom of your peripheral vision, and then when you want to look at it, you just look down towards it, and it'll snap to the center of your vision. And it's definitely necessary with these randomly generated dungeons and their winding hallways. Ew, a little torture torture chamber here. And my light went out. So I'm not actually sure what the coins are used for. But I guess we'll find out. creepy. That's what the coins are used for. Uh... A crossroads. This is a room of power, Wanderer. A place of tribute. Is it though? It looks just kind of like a little barrel storage room. But... Okay. Oh boy. It's creepy. There's human body parts all over this. I can't tell where the whispering's coming from. What? Oh god. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh no! What? No, it's, it's her. Where'd she go? You know what? I don't really want to find out. Lore. Yeah, who, who is she? No, not you. Whatever. We hold the memories of this place alive in the absence of our creators. We watch and we remember. Okay. So that's a beholder. It doesn't look like your typical beholder that you find in a dungeon. But who am I to judge? something. <laughs> this game does a really good job with the uh, creepy audio and music and everything. It really sets up a disturbing atmosphere. Even though <laughs> nothing really scary has happened yet, I'm still kind of creeped out. Oh, 
Oh, okay, yeah, I've been here before. God, this map is so useful. I definitely heard footsteps. to the right. <gasps> okay. Creepy shadow dude. What is he doing? He's just like, okay. <laughs> Guess he didn't notice me before. Through this door? Might as well throw caution in the wind. Oh, it just puts you back here. level I guess every time you find an eyeball and you place it on the pillar it takes you to a new little dungeon or a new section of the of the dungeon Treasure chest. Two of them. Sacrifice. That's how we got here. There's always a price to pay, and sacrifice has power. What about you? What did you sacrifice? How did you pay your passage? I sacrificed my vibe by RMAing it. Literally nothing. Awesome. Plenty of oil, though. Let's see what we got here. Seven bottles of oil. I should be good on light or lamp lighting for a while. Heard more creepy footsteps, but no, I feel like some of the sounds are just in here to creep you out. It's her, it's her. I don't know. I, I don't want to be near her. <laughs> I was thinking of going and talking to her and then I decided that's probably not a good idea. I was free. I was in a forest. The light, refreshing rainforest, or a light, refreshing rain was falling. I could hear birds. Did it really happen? Was it a dream? I don't know. It's 
and the beholder. Ask about the creatures. Lumps of bone, flesh, and skin. Mindless wretches pieced together by the shadows from the remains of their friends. Okay. Cool. I like the comforting music here. I didn't believe in the shadow folk. None of us did. Even in those cases where I caught a glimpse of one, a shadow moving in my per <laughs> peripheral vision, it was easier to think nothing of it. Pretend it was just my imagination. Well, I believe in the shadow folk. I saw one, one of them, the shadow folk. It was just standing in the corner looking at me with its yellow eyes. Its shape moved and shifted. But I vanished before I could get close. I'm so creeped out by the whispering. Sometimes I wonder how the pillars look. Are they small? Are they large? A gate between worlds? Can you imagine? statue moved. Hmm. What's that sound? I'm trying to see if, if he keeps moving if I don't look at him. It doesn't look like it. Okay, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> okay. A big fleshy dog? No. No, no, no. Not good. That thing looked like it would really kill me hard. Alright. Roast dead bodies. That's better. At least they can't kill me. Uh, that's not good. Look, this guy's junk got cut off. It's kind of gross. Okay, so... I have to go down the hallway where the dog was. Seems to be the only way forward right now. Go, go, go. <laughs> fell asleep. I don't know for how long, but my lamp had run out of oil by the time I woke up. It was all dark, and the air felt thick and heavy. I relit my lamp quickly, but in my haste, I broke an oil bottle, burning my hands. Noob. Speak now. About the place. A sanctuary. A safe haven for the pillars to keep them hidden and protected okay, okay. from the outside world. There's one other option here. No, no, I already went that way. Hmm. Well, maybe she'll turn into a black ball of dust and fly away again. Oh. She's gone. Right? Good. What is your question? This sanctuary. The creators built us when their future was still full of light. Then they left, and now this place is cold and dead. But we'll wait for their return, as we have always done. 
That's depressing. Okay. So. We have to backtrack a little bit. I'm scared of the big fleshy dog. All I saw was his ass, but... It wasn't the type of ass I want to fuck with. This is like a little safe zone. That's cool. I don't want to be safe. Hmm. Well, there it is. That's the fourth eye, right? I escaped when one of them came after me. Those abominations made of vile, twisted flesh. The flesh of other travelers, just like me. I wonder if it came after me because it used to know me. Better not to think about that. Yeah, I kind of doubt it. That dude sounds full of himself. Okay. Oh, that was only the third eyeball. There's a boulder here that I haven't used yet. <laughs> so creepy. I'm not coins here. Oh, the exit, yes. The only exit is through the pillars. They will take you where you wish to go if you step between them. Those pillars? I hope so. So maybe if I get all four eyes up there, then I'll find the exit. door. Hopefully there's treasure behind it. Oh yes, treasure. Lots of treasure. Yes, a single coin. It's better than nothing. Same nice music, so I assume this is another little safe area. Sid, he was the one who told me about the Forgotten and this place. He didn't want to come, not at first. But I convinced him I wanted him, I wanted to see it. Oh my god. The things men do for women. I would not go to this place. Okay. Is this what I wanted when I decided to come here? This is a horrible place, and yet I always knew it would be. Why am I here then? I don't know. You sound like an idiot. Why did I wake up alone? I have no answer. My head still hurts, so perhaps I stayed unconscious for too long. But they would have waited for me. That is, unless they couldn't stay there any longer. That was kind of a creepy one. Here? Are you kidding me? Okay. Yes, that's one of the things you get with randomly generated dungeons. Sometimes you're just gonna stumble on the eyeball right away. Alright, that's four eyeballs. Where are you going, Wisp? Oh, 
Okay, so we're still going. And something creepy. <gasps> One of those say thing. Okay, okay, okay. Um, please tell me this is a hallway. Oh god, okay. Okay, lock it. 